incognito mode doesn't save your history. That's true, but it's only the half of the truth because your PC does so. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Himanshu here. You're watching Get Assist and in this video, I'll show you your Google Chrome is storing your incognito mode's history. While the Google Chrome is not actually storing it, it's your PC, but there are ways to find what you have done online. Whether you are a parent who is checking upon their child's incognito history or just someone who is curious whether your history has been deleted or not. Let's get started but before getting started, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Let's crack it. Open up your incognito browser and search for anything like, um, I am searching for Xbox. The gamers will love to do so for the gaming pass and new games and all. And now we are not going to open it in the new tab, we are going to open it up in the incognito window. Cool. Now let's close the window. And let's go for the easiest method to check upon your incognito history which is DNA cache. Where your PC is storing the logs of the websites you are visiting regardless of the incognito window mode. So open up the command prompt by pressing windows plus R. Type command that's cmd and hit the enter button. Now here's the command prompt. Type ipconfig slash display dns and hit the enter. This command will list all the website your computer has resolved and including those visited in incognito. Just scroll through the site. See the site we visited Xbox. Well, you can do the same using the more advanced solution which are the third party applications and softwares but it's completely your choice whether you want to invade someone's privacy and incognito history or not. But remember, it's important to respect others' privacy and use these apps, these software responsibly. Well, now we'll go for the secret hack to delete this incognito history and flush it out and it literally means flushing it off. Type ipconflict slash flush DNS and you are done with it. No clue will be left over. Trust me, nothing. And that's all in this video. If you find this video useful and informative and it is actually. So give it a like and comment down your thoughts below and give me some suggestions for my next video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll meet you in the next one.